Hello everyone, wishing you very happy new year and I welcome you on my channel Excel Surgery. It's been long, I was not able to create videos on my channel, but now I'm back and I'm going to create a lot of new videos in 2024 to make sure that you are learning Excel. So let's start what we are going to learn today. We are going to understand that how you can create progress chart in Excel. So you can see that that is on my screen and this is what exactly we are gonna create in Excel. Okay, so let's start learning. So how you should be creating uh, this uh, chart? Basically, I have one task here that is email follow-ups and here I have listed items here. Completed task, remaining task. So 80 tasks are completed, remaining tasks are 20 and uh, 80 is the percentage okay so what i need to do i need to just divide 80 by 100 100 are total tasks 80 are the completed tasks so 80 percent work is completed and this is what i'm gonna plot on this progress chart and i just need to make sure that uh, it is not in the table format because uh, in table format we are not uh, like uh, this chart is not going to pick the numbers sometimes so what you can do you can just select the table okay and you'll be seeing table design on the top just select it and then click on this convert to range once you do that it will be removed and it will be working as normal table and all the formatting will remain here so now what i'll be doing i'll be just uh, selecting these three numbers total items 80 20 80 are the completed 20 are the remaining i'm going to insert under insert you will see this charts option so once you click on this chart option here you will be seeing donut chart just click on that and once you click on this uh, donut chart you will be seeing that there are three slices okay one is for completed task one is for the remaining task and one is for the total task so half of the slice or half of the donut will be covered with this half slice and that is what we need to hide how we can hide it just select uh, the slice this is the blue slice so i'm double clicking on it and it is going to deselect the other slices and just going to show or highlight only this slice okay right click on it go to format data point once you go there you will be seeing this series option once you see that you'll be seeing angle of first slice here i'm going to put 90 degree or maybe 270 degree if it is on the left side okay it this is uh, this blue slice was on the right side at my screen so i just put 90 degree here and uh, it just moved uh, the angle of these slices now that is the first job you need to do then what you need to do you need to go to format on the top or maybe uh, you can just right click and you'll be seeing these options here directly i'm going to uh, talk about from this format option from the menu so that you understand that what exactly i'm doing and you understand the concepts so i need to do just make the background transparent and make the line like shape outline transparent so i need to select these lights i need to go shape fill i need to select no fill similarly i need to do for shape outline i need to select no outline once i do that that will be hidden now when i like uh, click on any cell and if i go behind this chart i don't see my cursor so i want to make sure that my cursor is visible so what i need to do i need to select the chart again go back to format okay and here you will be seeing this shape fill and uh, from there just make it no fill then no outline again so that will be transparent so now you can see your cursor is here so if you put any data behind this chart that will be visible so that is second thing now i need to delete this legend i don't need it so just select it press delete button and this will be deleted or just right click and then delete so it is up to you that how you want to do it okay now i see the chart title on the top i will be putting it like i'm um, changing it to progress chart once i do that i am just formatting it so it depends at what formatting you want to use so i'm just marking it bold 
and in the black letters okay so uh okay i'm putting it here now now my progress chart is ready i just need to do some formatting or maybe like adding some numbers here so that people can see that what exactly is happening here before that what i want to do i want to change the color of this it is uh gray it is orange so it is not clear that whether it is a progress chart or not so what i should be doing i should be using the same color palette for this entire half slice okay so i'm selecting the first slice the big one uh, this completed one and again i'm going back to format on the top once i go here i'll be selecting shape fill under shape fill i'm using dark green you can use dark blue dark orange or dark red uh, as per your needs i'm using dark green and for the second slice i'm selecting it again and i'm using the light green from the format option okay so it will look like okay it is uh same color it is moving from zero percent hundred percent but still i see uh the uh, this white line uh, between these two slices am i right so i need to remove this so how i can do this i just need to select the slice again double click on that because we want to select the particular part of it once you do that go to shape outline and mark it no outline and similarly you need to do for the first slice selected shape no outline that's it and once you do that you can see it is merged and that uh, white line is removed am i right so that's what exactly we need to do once you do this go to insert again and here you will be seeing this text option but before you insert any text box on the chart what you need to make sure that you select the chart and then you insert the text box the reason is very simple because uh, if you select the cell and if you insert the text box then your text box will be placed on the excel window not on the chart uh, uh, chart window okay and uh, if you move your chart then your text boxes will not be getting moved with along with the chart so i'm just selecting text box here I'm typing text box and just putting it here and typing 0%. So I'm just again formatting it like I marked it bold and I just uh, reduce the size of the font. Okay. And I just adjusted the width of this. And again, the same thing because it is again with the white color. So we need to go back to the shape format by selecting this or uh, right click on this. You will be seeing this um, style fill option. In the fill option, just select no fill from the outline, select no outline. That's it. Once you do that, that is done. Now select this text box again. Copy it and paste it on the chart. Once you do that, you will be creating another text box and I'm putting it the last and I'm just putting 100%. Again, I'm adjusting the width once it is done. Okay, zero to 100%. But now I want to show the actual progress of this report. How I can do that? I just need to copy it, okay? And select the chart, paste it here. And uh, here I'm going to put it in the between of this, like uh, in the middle of this chart. I can increase the font of this. That may look good. So I can just use it like this, okay? Now select the text box, go to formula bar, click equal to sign select the 80 percent that's it and press once you do that again the formatting is uh, like removed so again you need to apply the formatting again i'm putting it bold middle and just increasing the font of this okay so this is how that's how we can create the progress chart in excel hope you like this video if you do that so please uh, do like it. Please do share with your friends and uh, keep learning Excel. Wish you good luck for the new year. Have a nice day.